Clerk Tamer, would you call the roll, please? Mulliner? Here. Brennan? Here. Barimas? Absent. Deuter? Absent. Dunn? Here. Hill? Absent. Polumsky? Here. Jensen? Here. Peluto? Absent. Cahill? Here. Nudera? Here. Park? Here. Conquest? Absent. Bastido? Absent. Eight? Present? Six? Absent. Eight present, six absent. We have a quorum. Um, uh, receipt of written communications. Is there anyone who would like to deliver a written communication to the council? If so, please raise your hand. There being none, we'll move on to public forum. Clerk Tamer, has anyone signed up for public forum? Yes, Mayor. I have Jim Hodap. All right. Uh, Mr. Hodap, uh, please. Uh, Approach the microphone, state your name, address is optional, wrapping is optional, and then um, you have three minutes. You want to use the microphone right behind you. Pardon? Oh, this is yes, thank you. Is this, is this where you want me to stand? Please. Right here? Am I on TV? You are. All right. <laughs> well, greetings, okay. ladies, gentlemen. I'm uh, asking this evening for the good people of Elmhurst to urge city officials to give me, Jim Hodap, a one-time, one-year contract, a contract as an ecological restoration consultant, <clears throat> a consultant who foolishly believes that perhaps we can save Mother Earth one yard at a time save the wild bees by letting the dandelions grow and just saying no, no to herbicide, no, no to pesticide, and yes to a blessed new hour, the hour of wildflower power. Think of that, the hippies are back. My name's not Jack, it's Jim. I'm not that slim, I'm getting old, but my raps are still bold. And I live in E-Town, Elmhurst, Starburst. This is where we, the people, rule the universe. Gentlemen, please don't curse. Ladies, hold on to your purse. And I don't care if the president does declare an end to war. In E-Town, Elmhurst, you better still lock your car door. Yo, wildflower power, wildflower power, wildflower power. Yo, ass, see you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. At least I made a couple of y'all smile. Peace, good night. Thank you, Mr. Hodep. <laughs> that is it, Mayor. All right. Is there anyone else out in the audience that wants to make public comment? <laughs> That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> there being none, we will move on from public forum. Uh, item five, any announcements from the council? There being none, uh, consent agenda. Uh, is there any item on the consent agenda that any alderman would like to remove either for further discussion or to vote against? There are none. Clerk Tamer, please read the consent agenda. Item 6.1, minutes of the regular meeting of the Elmhurst City Council on July 18th, 2022. 6.2, minutes of the executive session of the Elmhurst City Council on June 6th, 2022. 6.3 accounts payable August 1st, 2022, total $3,602,901.03. 6.4 report 22 ZBA 07, mirroring variations 297 South York. 6.5 report website redesign for Elmhurst.org and ElmhurstHistory.org and website redesign and rebranding for ExploreElmhurst.com. 6.6 .6 report, Nihau Asian Care, RSB liquor license request. 6.7 report, bottle theory, WBB lic liquor license request. 6.8 report, 2022 pavement stripping program. 6.9 report, um, history museum wheelchair lift. 6.10 report, first street sanitary line replacement design engineering. 6.9 report for Ford Explorers to replace PD4, PD10, PD51, and F11. See item 8.1. 6.12 report for Ford Expeditions to replace PD17, P21, 
PD 29 F9 and F13 C item 8.2 and 613 section section 6.13 entitled dangerous or diseased trees of article 1 entitled trees of chapter 6 entitled trees and plants of the admissible code of ordinances of the city of Elmhurst Illinois all right thank you for tamer if you would call the roll on the consent agenda yes. Oh, I'm sorry, a motion. I've done this before. Alderman Brennan. Second Alderman Dunn. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Mulliner. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Remus, absent. Deuter, <clears throat> absent. Dunn. Aye. Hill, absent. Polumsky. Aye. Jensen. Aye. Paluto, absent. Cahill. Aye. Nudera. Aye. Park. Aye. Conquest. Absent, Bastido, absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Consent agenda is adopted, thank you. Item seven, reports and recommendations, Mayor Levin. Um, three items, one is um, tomorrow evening, uh, there will be a neighborhood roll call in conjunction with the City of Elmhurst Public Safety Night Out uh, at 7 p.m. on the east side of Barron's Park. Uh, residents from both the second and third wards uh, will be attending. It's open to everyone, actually. Uh, the patrol officers will talk to residents about crime trends and uh, prevention information. Um, at the public safety night, there'll be a dunk tank, bounce house, giveaways. Um, Elmhurst Fastest Kids, where you can see how fast you can run using a radar speed sign. And if any of you want to get in there, I'm sure you can, we'll pace you. Vehicle tours. A helicopter landing at 6 p.m. and a candy drop at 6.45 p.m. So all are welcome to attend. Um, item two, we had uh, a number of, in fact, every department in our city participated in a special Kids Day event yesterday where we had about 200 children with special needs come through city council. Uh, we had fire trucks, police vehicles, every department in public works had something set up. Um, it was a very remarkable um, event. Um, I think it was not only tremendously enjoyable for the children, but for the parents who got a structured activity that we could present. Um, I was joined by Clerk Tamer and City Treasurer to help me uh, take votes on some very important things like Elm, Elmhurst Tree of the Year, the Elm Tree One, uh, you know, things like that. Um, I'll have to let the press know that these were just advisory votes, but. Um, Good event. I want to thank all the departments for all their work. It was largely volunteers and also for the people from Special Kids Day who put this all together, and particularly from our staff, Cassandra Chef, who wrote all the scripts for everything and organized everything. So it was really a tremendous event. Lastly, um, about 10 days ago, I was invited to attend uh, active shooter training that was put on by our police department and emergency services disaster administration uh, chief uh, at Edison School. Um, obviously, uh, school shootings um, are something we have to be very concerned about in this day and age, and with the events in Highland Park, it was something that's, this kind of event uh, is foremost on our minds. I was, I, I gotta say, I was uh, extremely impressed by um, what I saw, the level of training, the level of preparedness, the professionalism um, and, you know, in these kind of training events where they had um, people, actors uh, who were doing different things like running out, you know, I've been wounded and how the police have to respond to them uh, with uh, using uh, paint bullets. Uh, you could see that this was something that through this training exercise, the officers took it very seriously. Um, and I can only assure the community that uh, if something like this, God forbid, should ever happen, uh, we are on top of training and, um, and have a, a police department that can respond the way a police department is to respond. So with that, I would add just two other reminders for those in the community that haven't signed up for Code Red. If there's ever any kind of emergency in our community, that is certainly a good place. You can look that up on our website. And lastly, uh, you know, if uh, in, in view of these shootings, one of the things I discussed with some of the police officers is, you know, if you see someone who is exhibiting 
strange behaviors that might have access to a firearm, um, call the police, tell them what your concern is or what you think it might be. It never hurts. Uh, don't be embarrassed. Um, if it's nothing, it's nothing. If it's something, uh, we'll all be glad that you called. Um, those are my announcements. I thank you, City Manager. No report tonight, Mayor. Thank you. All right. Any uh, on to item eight, ordinances. Clerk Tamer, if you would read the 8.1. An ordinance waiving bid and authorizing the purchase of four Ford Explorer vehicles to replace units PD4, PD10, PD51, and F11 for the City of Elmhurst Police and Fire Departments. See item 6.11. All right, thank you. Could we have a motion to bring this before the council? Alderman Brennan, second. Alderman Cahill, Alderman Brennan. Thank you, Mayor. So this is uh, related to a report that we uh, approved this evening, uh, 611. Uh, in that report, we suspended the rules uh, so we could get this ordinance passed tonight. Uh, there's a very small window tomorrow. The, <laughs> the window opens for these vehicles and um, you know, staff is, is directed to uh, first look at hybrid vehicles and that's our priority. And the main reason for needing to, to change the way we traditionally procure these types of items is supply chain. Um, super long lead time you know, for these vehicles. And that's after you get one ordered. <laughs> so if you miss the window to order it, you don't know when the next window might be. So therefore, that's the rationale for this report, as well just to save some time the, the, the next ordinance that will pass it has a similar background. Thank you, Alderman Brennan. Any other discussion on item 8.1? Rick Tamer? Mulliner? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Baremus, absent. Deuter, absent. Dunn? Aye. Hill, absent. Polumsky? Aye. Jensen? Aye. Toledo, absent. Cahill? Aye. Nudera? Aye. Park? Aye. Conquest, absent. Bastido, absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Item 8.1 passes. Uh, Clerk Tamer, if you would read 8.2, please. An ordinance waiving bid and authorizing the purchase of four Ford Ex Expedition vehicles to replace units PD-17, PD-29, F9 and F13 for the City of Elmhurst Police and Fire Departments. See item 612. All right, a motion to put this before Council. Alderman Brennan, second Alderman Cahill. Alderman Brennan, same, uh, same rationale? Same, I would just like to clarify. <clears throat> so in this report, in this ordinance, we're talking about uh, the Ford Expedition, which is a slightly larger vehicle. Um, if there are hybrid versions of that available, staff will look at that. That will be a priority but there's a good likelihood that availability will be a, you know, a, a combustion engine. So, all right. thank you. Thank you. Other discussion on A2? Clerk Tamer, call the roll. Mulliner? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Remus, absent. Deuter, absent. Dunn? Aye. Hill, absent. Polumsky? Aye. Jensen? Aye. Toledo, absent. Cahill? Aye. Nudera? Aye. Park? Aye. Conquest, absent. Bastido, absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Eight ayes, zero nays, six absent. Item 8.2 passes. Item 9, other business. Is there any other business that any alderman would like to bring before the council at this time? There being none, uh, item 10, adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Alderman Molliner, second Alderman Polumsky. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you.